Spain is grappling with a, with a record influx of migrants into the Ceuta enclave in North Africa. More than 8,000 people have entered the territory since Monday morning. The Spanish Prime Minister, Pedro Sanchez, has vowed to send all illegal incomers back, saying we will re-establish order at our borders with the utmost speed. More than 4,000 of those new arrivals have already been deported to Morocco. The Spanish government has additional deployed uh, troops to help guard the crossing. Now, most of the migrants arrived by swing to the Tudor Peninsula along the Moroccan coast. Uh, many of them are children. Well, let's go live now to Ruben Tambole, a political scientist. Thanks for joining us, sir. Good to have you on the programme today. Uh, 6,000 migrants have entered the enclave on Monday alone. That is an all-time record. Um, what do you think has caused this? Why now? Yeah, thank you for having me. This is a revenge. This is a retaliation. Why? Because we have the leader of the Polisarium in under medical attention for humanitarian uh, reasons and they are uh, taking the revenge. This is a revenge, and this is a very high uh, and important uh, international crisis. United States is uh, taking part, taking a side uh, against us, and uh, there is several positions that uh, this has to be regarded, like, for example, the position of the European Union with this, because this is a great crisis, this is a revenge, this is on purpose, and the king of Morocco has the responsibility. How do you view the response of the Spanish government to the crisis and what can they do to solve it? The, the Spanish response is a weak response because the prime minister is going to give more money to Morocco and that is not the answer. Uh, they uh, they did uh, gave uh, a lot of money and resources recently with uh, three uh, with 130 trucks for the control of the borders, and they are doing nothing. They are sending people against the Spanish border because the retaliation, because they want the full uh, dominion of the Sahara, and that is uh, the main problem. The the, the response uh, has not to be only a Spanish response, it has to be an international response with the backup of the European Union, because this is a border of the European Union. This is not a border only of Spain. This is an European Union uh, border, and the border has to be well protected. And the people that is living in that city has to be well protected too, because the, the children uh, today can't go to the schools, the people can't have their normal life, they are insecure, and that is a real problem. Spain has two enclaves uh, in, in Morocco. There's also Melilla, the other one. Um, both of them are, are magnets for illegal migration. I think a lot of people in Spain are going to be wondering whether it's worth maintaining these very small outposts, given the massive effort uh, in guarding them and the increasing uh, problems they're causing. Of course, they, that is a, a big problem. Uh, it's uh, the two cities, but we are not giving up and we are not surrendered our cities. This city has Spanish history more than uh, some of the European states, like Italy or Germany. This has been European and Spanish cities more than 500 years ago. So this is Spanish cities. We have to protect to all costs. And uh, uh, the, the response has to be a strong response from Spain and from our allies and with the, uh, with the backup of our troops and our army. It uh, has to be uh, really a big one and this has to stop right now. The president of the European Commission, uh, Ursula von der Leyen, has tweeted uh, the EU stands in solidarity with Ceuta and Spain. Um, do you expect to see any real support uh, from the EU? Yeah, that is the question. This is not uh, that we are concerned. This is not that uh, we are going to express our solidarity. Uh, this is uh, needed uh, a really uh, a strong action. And even with presence, because if we are also members of the, of the uh, NATO, so the military presence and the military support has to be clear for all the members of the European Union and the military organization of the Atlantic. Ruben, we're out of time. Thanks so much for coming on the programme today. Ruben Tamboleo, political scientist. Thank you so uh, much thanks for, again for your time. Thank you. Bye. Well, boom bust coming away in just a few moments' time. We're back in half an hour. With